Welcome back to my channel, my name is Virginia. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Fit Me Maybelline Foundation. This one is in the Madden Poreless for normal to oily skin. This has been requested by a lot of you guys. I bought this foundation from Face and Values. Uh, it was priced at $6.29 and I ended up paying $5.03 because I had a 20% coupon. I actually do own this foundation, but look at the difference. This is the one I have and I had to go and buy a new one because the color was way off. I have already primed my skin, moisturized and all of that good stuff. As I always like to mention why I always have something white around my nose. It's because I'm so oily that I like to apply Milk of Magnesia on my nose every day. So for this review, I also like to do that as well. I am going to do half my face with a sponge, half my face with a brush, and if you are new to my channel, I have acne prone, very oily skin, and I am very prone to big, big cystic breakouts. This is actually not a breakout, I just had um, a facial done yesterday, so this is going to be great to see if this foundation will be able to cover all this yuckiness I have. Let's put this foundation to the test. I'm actually excited. I've had this foundation for a while but I still don't remember if I liked it or if I don't like it. So I like to dot a lot around my face. On this side I'm going to go with my beauty blender. This is one layer of the foundation. It looks really nice. It, I think it's going to be like a medium coverage foundation. It covered a little bit of the hyperpigmentation I have around here. I'm going to go a little bit more to see if I can cover this breakouts I have. But it looks really good with a beauty blender. I'm going to do one more layer. So I actually think the coverage is really nice. It's looking very natural, very skin-like, which I really like. It doesn't look heavy at all. Now you guys can see half my face with foundation, half my face without foundation. For this side of my face, I'm using a flat kabuki brush by Beauty Junkies. And this is one layer of foundation. I feel like I like the application with a beauty blender better, but I'm going to build this. This is with two layers of foundation and I think it looks really good. First impressions of the application, it's really easy to blend. I love how it looks on the skin. Even though it says matte and poreless, I feel like I have a little bit of luminosity, which I personally really enjoy. Now for the poreless part, I do have large pores around this area. They're looking pretty good right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. I just finished doing my makeup and I want to let you guys know that I did set my foundation with a translucent powder. This is from NYC, especially because it's a translucent powder. It's not going to add any other coverage, so you guys are going to get to see exactly how the foundation is looking. I am going to do a little bit of a close-up so you guys can kind of have an idea of how it looks up close. I mean, I feel it looks really good. It doesn't look heavy, it doesn't look cakey at all. You guys know I love my cakey foundations, but this one looks really nice. I don't think this has any SPF. I didn't even notice about that. Let me do a flash test really quick. Right now it's 1.30, I will come back in a few hours to let you know how I feel about this foundation. But so far, so good, I really like it. 
Hey guys, it's about 5.50 and I've had this foundation for about 4 hours and I just wanted to do a little update. So far, it's looking really good. I really like this foundation. I haven't um, done anything else to my face, blotted or anything. And I want to remind you that I set this foundation with a translucent powder. That's something I never do. I usually um, go for something that will give me a little bit of an extra coverage but I wanted you guys to see um, the foundation how it looks on its own but so far I really like it so I will be back in a few hours to let you know how it's been but so far so good hey guys it's 10 40 and it's been over eight hours since I had this foundation and as you can tell I am very oily extremely extremely oily on that note um, I do have to say that I really enjoyed wearing this foundation throughout the day usually with any foundation I do have to blot once also, I didn't set this foundation with a regular powder that I would set my foundation with. I only set it with translucent powder and I feel like that also makes a difference. But I do have to admit that I actually really enjoyed using this foundation. It looked absolutely flawless and I was very impressed. The only thing I would say probably I would have to blot more and I have to see if this would happen if I set it with my regular powder. Holy cow. Overall, I would give this foundation a 6 out of 10. Um, I do love the wide variety of colors that they have and especially because I do also have the darker one. So I think I will definitely use this foundation more often. I love that it's very affordable is under ten dollars which i love i do not like when drugstore foundations are over thirteen dollars i think that's absolutely not necessary if you tried this foundation and you're also oily let me know if you have gotten as greasy as i have <laughs> and also let me know if there's any other foundations you want me to do reviews of down below i'm so quiet because my son is asleep i'm watching the debate and yeah, I think I think that's gonna be it for today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I love you and I'll see you next time.